I did post the link. You fucking idiot. Stupid. Right, what are you talking about? Post the link. What do you think I'm doing? Yes, we got it. We got it. We got it. We fixed the old mic, so we should be good now. And then I can should be able to do this. Hopefully everybody can hear me. If we, can, if you can hear me, give me a one. Give me a one, everybody, and we'll get started. Let me know. Give me a one. Let's get the likes up. You guys on the routine, like the channel, subscribe if you're new. We know the routine. Let's get it. Turn, uh, like the stream. Let's get it. And if you want daily picks and you're not on the Patreon yet, you already know what to do. Nightbot will drop the link, or you can check it in the description. But yeah, we'll be talking about. I'm gonna go over all my notes here for Super Bowl 57. And um, to give you guys something to think about, and then uh, and then I can make I'll make another follow-up video in a couple days with uh, who I believe will win the game, and then uh, tell you what the uh, the thing that I would you know take the uh, bet on the most. Instead, if you don't the actual game, the thing I would play the most to help you out. So here we go. So I did this three days ago on the Patreon page. It pays to be there. You get stuff early. Um, so here, let's start out with this. So there has been, uh, so no quarterback that led the NFL in passing yards has won the Super Bowl. So Patrick Mahomes led the NFL in receive, uh, passing yards this season. Um, so, I mean, I mean, that goes against, that goes against KC because no quarterback has ever led the NFL in passing yards and won the Super Bowl. Hey, records are meant to be broken, right? Also, Here's a stat I've seen. Six have tried and failed. Can, can Mahomes break the Super Bowl curse? There are six quarterbacks in the area that lead the league in passing yards and made it to the Super Bowl. All six are lost. So all six of these quarterbacks that made the soup that led the NFL in passing yards made the Super Bowl. They all lost. They're 0 6. Mahomes led it in this year. Let's see what happens to him. Here's another thing I found. Andy Reid is the winningest coach in Ingles. In Eagles history, now he's going to get the Eagles, and he has a chance to become Kansas City winning his coach. Does that make sense? Wild, right? The Andy Reid Bull, huh? Also, here's the thing about Fandle. Here, here is Fandle's uh, playoff prediction before the season, uh, you know, when the playoffs. They got every game right but Buffalo and Tampa. So, And then they have KC and Eagles, and they have KC beating the Eagles. So... Also, three Philly teams have made the title game this year. The prior two lost. The Phillies made it and lost to the Astros. And uh, Philadelphia Union made the Major League Soccer and they lost. And now we got Eagles versus KC. So, Also, here's another stat to think about. Anytime the Eagles made the Super Bowl, um, here's a correlation with the Astros. So the Astros lost the World Series in 2005. Eagles lost the Super Bowl in 2005. Astros won their first ever World Series in 2017. Eagles won their first ever Super Bowl in 2017. Astros won the World Series last year. What's going to happen to the Eagles this year? You see, you see the pattern? Doesn't mean it's going to happen, but point that out. Also, here's another. Patrick Mahomes. This is what we're keen on today. Remember this. Patrick Mahomes. Here's his career stats. He has 224 touchdowns and 56 interceptions in 93 games. It's going to be his 94th game. Check that out. If Mahomes, see why I bolted it? This means I like it. 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 Like you like Oreos. I like Oreos. I like this. I like this prop right here. Mahomes can throw his 57th career interception, 57th career interception, and it would happen to come in Super Bowl 57 on the 57 date numerology. You don't think that's not gonna happen?
57, Nate Numerology, Patty Mahomes can throw his 57th career interception. Just look up Patrick Mahomes career, including playoffs. Make sure you do including playoffs. So yeah. Four touchdowns will want if he does if he does a pick before he throws a touchdown, it'll be four and one like Super Bowl equals forty one. He'd have four touchdowns and one pick this season. There's his career, two two four and fifty six. You know what I mean? That was fifty seventh career interception in Super Bowl fifty seven on the fifty seven date numerology. Right now Patty Mahomes is minus one away to throw a pick, so if you only wanted to play one thing, there you go, I just gave it to you. If you didn't want to actually play the game, you can take this and boom. Whatever happens, happens. Or you can play multiple, and all you need is one of them to come through to get a profit or break even. Here's another one you could think about. I don't. Um, th I do like this one, but I don't like this one. If you ask me which prop would you play out of these Mahomes ones, I would say with the interception. But here's something to think about, which is not bad at all. If Mahomes throws three touchdowns, he would have he would have 227 career touchdowns. 227 is the 49 prime. Super Bowl equals 49, and Eagles equals 49. So if Mahomes Throws three TDs, he would have 227 career touchdowns. So he'd have three touchdowns and one pick. And look, 227, 49th prime. You know what else is the 49th prime? The Eagles have the 49 connection. Just like Super Bowl 49. So that's a perfect time to get your 227th career touchdown in the Super Bowl. So yeah, I do like that as well. So there's two props from Mahomes. Mahomes is like plus 160 to throw three touchdowns, so. And then here's my actual stats for the, let me just make sure everything's going well. Yep, get the likes up guys, share the stream if you're new, subscribe if you're new. Here we go, here's my, here's my notes for the game. So, Kansas City is five and four versus the Eagles. Kansas City Chiefs equals 64, but State Farm Stadium equals 55. And this, we used to know about Patrick Mahomes and State Farm. State Farm 103, 103rd season. Patty Mahomes, the face of State Farm in the 103rd Super Bowl in State Farm Stadium. And his team could fall to 5-5 five and five versus the Eagles. And State Farm Stadium equals 55. Uh, Kansas City can't pick up their 22nd playoff loss as well. Eagles in 22, that's a pretty big number with the Eagles. Eagles equals 22. KC can get their 22nd playoff loss versus the Eagles. Kansas City is two and two in the Super Bowl. They can improve to three and two or fall to two and three in the year twenty-three. So, say is a thirty-two hitting or is a twenty-three hitting? The Eagles are one and two in the Super Bowl, so there's another twenty-two connection, or they can fall to one and three. Super Bowl equals forty-one. Forty-one is the thirteenth prime. Patty Mahomes is ten and three in the playoffs. If he wins, he can improve to eleven and three in the playoffs. It would come versus the Eagles equals one one three. That. So yeah. Or you can fall at ten and four. Or Super Bowl's on a forty third day of the year. Forty three is the fourteenth prime. But that one one three does play with the Eagles. Patty Mahomes is one and one in the Super Bowl. He could fall to one and two on the twelfth. We just see number twelve retire on two one. Jalen Hurts can get to three zero in the playoffs. Eagles equals one thirteen. One thirteen is the thirtieth prime. He can stay on twelve playoff losses on the twelfth. Here's a, here's a, yeah. But now look, look, look at this, Andy Reid stuff. Andy Reid can get his 269th all-time win. That's the 57th prime in Super Bowl 57. He can also get a 22nd playoff win versus his former team, the Eagles. So it's like, what? how are they paying trip to 22? Are they giving Andy Reid his 22nd playoff win? Or is Casey getting a 22nd playoff loss? And is Andy Reid getting that 269th playoff win in Super Bowl 57? On the 57 date numerology, when 269 is the 57th prime, you gotta ask yourself. He's 64 years old, Kansas City Chiefs equals 64, they can improve to 6 and 4 in the playoffs, and he could become the winningest coach in KC history versus his former team. K uh, Eagles coach is 2 and 1 in the playoffs, he could get the 3 and 1. Um, you know about that connection with Kansas City, or he can fall at 2 and 2 in the playoffs, Eagles is 22. Uh, Eagles coach is 41 years old. Super Bowl equals 41. He used to he used to be on the, the uh, Kansas City's coaching staff. 
So he can get his he can get he can get his first ever Super Bowl at age 41 versus his former team. So yeah, here's what I pull up and make my decision. Blah blah blah. And then here's some total points you can think about. Um, KC has scored 73 points in the Super Bowl. They scored 28. That would give them 101 total points scored. You all know about Philadelphia on 101. If they scored 30, they would have 103 total points, 103rd season, State Farm equals 103. So uh, that kind of night, 30 points, I don't know. They have given up 90, 93 points. If they gave up 20 points, they would have given up 130, 113 total points in the Super Bowl. Eagle to what? That's like a 30-20 final, a 28-20 final. If they give up 29 points, that would be 122 total. Kansas City equals 122, and the Super Bowl is on 212. So what? You got 30-29 final, 28-29 final. 28-29 final, 57 combined points, 30-20, um, 30-29. Now, Eagles have scored 72 points in the Super Bowl. If they, now, doesn't mean this is happening. I'm just, tell, I'm just showing you the numbers about possible scoring. These scoring odds are like plus 30,000, 20,000. Just take like seven bucks and just throw on each of them or take $10 and $2 on five different scores, whatever you want to do. I'm not telling you to do it. I'm just giving you... You know what I mean? The numbers here that could back a potential score, and then you can use the research to decide what you want to do. Now, guys, I am giving you guys this for free. Just knowledge. See how long, see how much notes I got here. All you got, the least you can do is subscribe to the channel and join the Patreon page. Daily sports predictions every day, and you get access to the Discord if you're respectful and you're, uh, you know what I mean? If uh, if you're planning to be with us long term and uh, you support the work, you do get access to that. But I'm taking time out of my day to present this to you guys. I advise by hours decoding. And I'm giving it to you guys from, you know what I mean? To show some love back. How hard is it to ask? Um, now, if they scored 26 points, they would have 98 total. You know what I mean? So, it's just like, can they, are they scoring 26? Are they scoring 20? Are the Eagles scoring 29? So. 31. They give up 28. So yeah, let's go through these and you can make some score predictions. All it needs is all you need is one to hit and come up. If you have like 40 bucks or whatever, just throw like six bucks on like seven of them, six of them. However you want to do it. So yeah, I gave out some stuff here. Um, so the over, I think the over might hit too. Um, over 48 and a half is what I would play that at. Because Eagles equals 49, Chiefs equals 50. So maybe get like an over 48. You get over 48, probably like minus 125. You don't actually have to play the winner of the game, but still make different bets. You know what I mean? There's score predictions you can throw on. There is the prop that I talked about that I really like. The other prop. Um, and then the over or the under. There's some props as well. This game is 131 days. I think. If you don't think Kelsey's having a big game, then come on, just stop. Kelsey's going to have a big game. This game is 100. So, you mean, you can take his props. Kelsey's gonna. He the game was 131 days after his birthday. Super Bowl week was 131. Championship equals 131. He has 84 receiving touchdowns, two rushing, and one return. That's 87 all time. But if you just include, so he has 87 all time because I guess he does have a kick return touchdown somehow. But he has 86 offensive touchdowns. He is 80. Seventh offensive touchdown. It would come versus the Philadelphia Eagles in the Kelsey Bowl. Doesn't that make too much sense? So you could take this if you wanted to. He is 87th offensive touchdown versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And then here's the Mahomes stat that I mentioned as well. Uh, Miles Sanders um, from the Super Bowl till his birthday, 78 days. Super Bowl LVII equals 78. Just like my, so, Miles Sanders might be in store for a pretty good game. Perhaps a touchdown. See, Super Bowl 78. Like Miles Sanders 78. So, yeah. He's meant he's meant to be in a Super Bowl 57 by the numbers. He gets 26 touchdowns, 78 days till his birthday when Miles Sanders equals 78. A.J. Brown equals 43. Symbols on a 43rd day of the year. He has 38 career touchdowns. Arizona equals 39. So yeah, don't doesn't mean go out and play all these. I'm just telling you the numbers that I see for them. So you decide what you want to do. But here's what I'm giving you, and uh, you can use your own knowledge and your own judgment. But I just wanted to share what I've seen here, man. So let's see what what's in store for AJ Brown on the uh, 
You know what I mean? The 43, the 43 day, day to the year. Some Jalen Hurts stats. Eh. And then here's Darius Slay. If you want to get real risky, man, he's plus 650 to get an interception. So, it's 42 days after his birthday or a span of 43 days. 43rd day of the year. So this dude, we should all know about 42. I'm not going to get into it. We all should know about the number 42. And now if you include the span, it's 43 days after his birthday. And Super Bowl's on the 43rd day of the year. His next number is, his next interception is number 27. Mahomes is 27 years old. This will be Slay's 157th career game. Kobe Bryant equals 157. And this dude said his favorite player ever was Kobe Bryant. And now he's playing on his 157th career game. And Kobe Bryant equals 157. Come on! So now if Mahomes did throw two... One... I wouldn't get... I don't, I don't think you can take him to get two interceptions. I would not get greedy. But the one interception is a safe play, yes. But if Mahomes... If you see Mahomes throw one pick and then if you do another one, perhaps Mr. Darius Slay is going to intercept... Mahomes get his, they give Mahomes his 58th career interception because Kobe Bryant equals 58 and 157. This is Slay's 157th game. Darius Demetrius Slay equals 81 like Kobe Bean Bryant equals 81. Darius Slay equals 39 like Arizona equals 39. So does Darius Slay give Mahomes his 58th career interception on his 157th game when Kobe Bryant equals 157 and 58 and uh, Darius Demetrius Slay equals 81 in his 157th game? So yeah. There's my notes and thoughts on the game, guys. You guys can let me know what you guys think and any observations you guys have. Leave it in the chat or you can call into the stream. I'll be glad to take your uh, calls. So feel free to leave the call. Feel free to call in if anybody wants to call in with observations. So yeah, like I mentioned, this Super Bowl is one of the toughest ones. Uh, you, got, as you see, you got numbers going both ways. Um, I like to leave. Who do you guys think is going to take the Super Bowl? Um, but yeah, I gave you a for sure prop that I do like. If you only wanted to play that instead, go for it. You don't. I mean, you don't actually have to play the actual game if you don't want to. Um, but as of now, probably say, ah man, it's close. But maybe KC takes it. Unknown was trying to call in. Unknown, if you want to call back, go for it. I, the number is now open. The phone line is now open. If anybody wants to call in. Come on, we got 30 people watching. Let's get the likes up. Let's go through the chat here. Yes, Freak, how you doing, bro? Keeps the Eagles, same record, same point scored. I like Eagles, too. What up, bro? How you doing, Donovan? Yeah, exactly. Get the lights. Thank you, Golly. How you doing, bro? Boris likes KC. Significant maker likes KC. Doesn't matter if all the money's on it over. It doesn't matter. <laughs> California, what's up? Hey, what's up, boys? It's your boy, Birch. How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. Hey, uh, real quick. Um, if you go to Vegas Insider, I just want to point this out. Look at where all the money's at. 62% is on Philadelphia. Alright, I'm going there now. Let's see. How do I find this? I remember. Let's see where I go. Um, How do you find out where the money's at again? Um, let's see. Go to. I haven't used this site in forever. <laughs> I, had, I know. I had it open. Um, hold on. I think. Oh, yeah. No, here, let's go to this one. See if it's easier. Go to S. You have SB Nation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. SB Nation. I think that site that has 60% affiliate. Here, I can do oh, this. Uh, Vegas Insider. NFL Super Bowl. Um, oh yeah. Money. They might. They may have taken it down. Um. 
Oh, I see his line movement. I'm going to bleach your report. I'm going to bleach your report right now. Bleach your report. Sunday game. Okay, there's bleach report. 62 percent of bets for Philly. So if you go to bleach your report. Bleach your report. Let's see. All right, I'm on that home page here. Yeah, go to scores. Go to NFL. Must be. Are you on the, Are you using the phone or the computer? Phone. The app. The Bleacher Report app. You want me to text it over to you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go for it, bro. It's seven one four. Yeah. I'm not gonna text it. Oh yeah, 62%, I see it. 62% on Philly, so when the Cincinnati played Kansas City, they were 68%. 68. Cincinnati was 68%. So, this, I mean, and then the over-under is like, everybody's taking the over, it looks like, too. I can see well, the over, yeah. Yeah. Over is 56%, it's real close. Yeah, so, um... Yeah, there it is, 52%. Yeah, so they... I mean, who's who's the best Oh, okay, so they, I mean, this is the same, wait, this is the same case as minus two now. It can't be. Let me look at a couple sites. The, the line is changing, though, but, um, because everybody's slamming the Eagles in the beginning. The smart money's gonna, the smart money's gonna come in. For game time, probably. And the uh, over under went from 49 and a half to 51. Ooh, 51. Oh, I told people, hopefully, people got that that's when I good. told them 48. Yeah, that's good for Kansas City. Yeah. And, and the unders. But uh, I, I don't know, if, I'm not 100% sure about the over under, but it looks like Kansas City is not. But I don't know. Pretty sure. Over 47 and a half for minus 172 is not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. Because I can see 49 points or 50 points. Yeah, they'll probably make it real close. And then you got some score predictions. <laughs> like plus 80,000. Imagine. Oh, what was the one that you had up there? 26 points? The score prediction you had? Yeah, I had 26 points. Let me see. I, there's, I gave out like, there's like different ones you could think about, but let's see. Um. 28, 23, 29, 28, 28, 26, 31, 30, or 30, 27. And sometimes sports, sports books don't even have all those, which is weird. Yeah, they probably do it on purpose. Do they have, do they have 30, 27? I imagine they do. That'd be, that'd be a good score. 57 points in Super Bowl 57 on a 57 date numerology. Wow, that could happen. These teams are very capable of putting up those points if you they probably don't care too much about the overall. Oh, of course. That is one of the, that is one of the lowest score predictions. Plus 8,000. Wow. Which is still good, but... So, if KC wins 30-27, it's plus 8,000. Let's see what the Eagles 30-27 would be. Mm -hmm. 
Eagles to win 30 27 is plus 8,000, so it's plus 8,000 either way. Um, yeah, that, it could be like 27 27 on the last drive. That, oh, yep. They love that number 13, like 13 to 6, half time, 13 13. And they love the number 6. How about, did you uh, see what I talked about that Mahomes interception? How doesn't that hit? Oh, that could happen too. How doesn't that hit in Super Bowl 57? That, 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 that's hitting. That got to hit. Yeah, interception because he's on what? 18 interception? He's on 56 career interception. He get his 57th career interception in Super Bowl 57 on the 57 date numerology. Come on. That's a good one. That's a good one. And that's minus 108. That's it. Minus 108. That's good value. That's good. That's what I'm telling people. Even if you don't play the game, you can still get value other ways. You know what I mean? And he doesn't throw a lot of picks. And, and he's never thrown a pick in the postseason. Yeah, he has. Has he? Believe it or not, his Super Bowl, oh, well. his, believe it or not, his Super Bowl stats are kind of trash. What? Super Bowl he has, but not in the, uh, the championship game. So this is possible. Oh, yeah, because against Tampa Bay, he threw a pick. He threw, a pick, he threw two picks in both of his Super Bowl, Super Bowl matchups. So versus the 49ers, he, went, he threw two picks. Versus Tampa Bay, he threw two picks. Yeah, so he can still th he can throw a pick. And they can still, still win. win. Yeah, exactly. I, I don't know why people think if a, it looks like yep. not sick. And if he throws it early on, it's like, okay, boom, he throws a pick and the Eagles score off of the pick. It's like, oh my gosh, look, the Eagles are up 7 nothing or 10-7 or something like that. Oh, I totally see that, bro. I'm with you. I the, totally see that. He can throw it in the beginning of the game and still rally, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. They're going to do that. They did that against the Niners when yep. the Niners were up 17 10 yep. at halftime. And it's minus 108. Yeah. So, if people only want to play one thing, that's probably what I would go with, honestly. The interception? Yeah, I don't see how he doesn't get that. 57th okay. in Super Bowl 57? Okay. Come on. And then, you on did you see? One. Now, if he threw three touchdowns, he would have 227 career touchdowns. 227 is the 49th prime. Super Bowl equals 49, and Eagles equals 49. Yeah, so if he had like a three touchdown and one interception game, um, and then McKinnon, oh, is it McKinnon? Oh, Pacheco can run one in. He's plus one sixty four to throw three touchdowns. So. Do you think three touchdowns and two field goals possibly? Huh? Could be, yeah. They got the kicking props up too. Let me see what his kicking props is for. Uh, oh, we, dang, they he actually minus one thirty to get over eight kicking points. So they they're expecting two field goals. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Because Bucker is good. Yep. And then, yeah. And, and then, um, what do you think about, um, uh, I don't want to throw you off on what you're doing, but what do you think about Kelsey anytime touchdown? Oh, yeah, yeah, I talked about that. Oh, okay, I missed that. Okay. Um, so he has, let me see real quick. So his next, so he has 87 career touchdowns because I guess he has a return touchdown somehow. But if you include only offense, he has 86 offensive touchdowns. He gets 87th offensive touchdown versus the Eagles. Philadelphia Eagles equals 87. Wow. He's minus 130, that's though. That's not bad. Oh, yeah. That's, no, no, that's going to happen. Yeah, and, they, and look, this game is 130. Hold on, let me see real quick. Um, put it in my notes. This game is 131 days after Kelsey's birthday. Super Bowl week was 131. Come on. You don't think he's having a good, uh, you don't think he's having a great game 131 days after his birthday? The, 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 one of the brothers is going to shine. It's going to be pretty It's going to be, you get up to Kelsey. And did you see that shaming ritual that they did on the Niners with the offensive linemen? They just did it with the Eagles. They got, some, they brought something up from like 2019 where the offensive linemen got Oh, really? I didn't hear about that. Oh, yeah, I gotta send it to you. Yep. It's crazy. It's, it's, uh, it's a shaming ritual they do. Wow. And they did it to the Niners before the game. I said, oh, the Niners gonna lose. <laughs> so you're still on KC, huh? I'm on KC, man. I, yep. It does make me nervous about all the numbers that you're bringing up. That's the only thing that makes me nervous is the numbers that you're bringing up. Because the Eagles have a chance of putting up a lot of points against that defense because the defense looked really good in Cincinnati. That's the only thing that scares me. But I, I just, I, I'm sticking with KC, though. I, I don't know how to get off of that. I, uh, man.
Andy Reid getting that win versus former team and Mahomes getting 11 and 3 when Eagles equals 113 and Kobe Bryant equals 113. Yeah. It's like, man. Bro, I can't, I can't get off of KC. I'm with, I just can't. I see all the numbers on the Eagles that people are putting Hold up on. and stuff like that. But. Yeah, about the, about the thing with the Astros, you seen that? Yeah. That, I'm, I'm like, oh, why did I have this? I mean, it doesn't mean Eagles got to win because stuff like that can't end. But it's just like, oh, my, what are the odds, though? Yep. Uh, uh, Caesar, okay, here's, here's the interesting. On pick-wise, I better put 131,000 on the Eagles minus two. Holy. Um, I better put 300K on the NFC to beat a winning conference of the Super Bowl. Plus 100, so his tail will be 600k. Wow. So everybody, so that's all Eagles. See. There was one guy that took Chiefs money line for like 60k or something like that. Let's let's see something. Um, if you take some guy put some guy put like 100,000, and I think the reason why this is relevant is because. A guy at halftime during the Jags uh, uh, Chargers game, halftime put a million dollars on the, the Chargers to, to win, just to make 11 grand. And I think they, <laughs> that just sounds suspicious because they he ended up losing. Wow. <laughs> they came back. Ooh, 55% of money's on the under now. Oh, it's going towards the under now? Yeah, wow, 55%. That's, good. That's a good thing. That yeah. People are taking the Eagles on the under. Because usually it's, it's, it's uh, underdog over, usually. And, and, and favor and under. Because they're taking the defense and stuff Mahomes. Mahomes, everybody, Mahomes' ankles, it's going to be 100% or something like this. Oh, yeah. They think they think oh Mahomes he's gonna be limping and everything. Come on, cut it out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. Yeah, I'll let He went to the Broncos on uh, 131, the championship okay. number. Wow. So first, maybe in the future, yep. Denver uh, Broncos equals 31. That's, that's, that is true. Wow. All right, bro. Thanks, man, taking my call. I'll, I'll, I'll be listening to that. Appreciate you, bro. Have a good one. Thank you. Shout out to my boy. Anybody else wants to call in, guys, with observations or anything you want to say, call in. Number's on the screen. We welcome all the calls. Who else wants to call in? Oh, yeah, exactly. 59% of you like KC to win. So get them votes up. Let's get the 30 votes. Vote in that poll. Like the stream if you're new. Subscribe to the channel if you want daily sports predictions. Join the Patreon page. If anybody else wants to call in with your observations, feel free to call in. Let me know. But yeah, it looks like the money is 62% on Philly right now. But yeah, he has, th he has thrown picks in all of his Super Bowl uh, meetings. So, man, man, man. Observations. Anybody else want to call in, guys? Feel free to call in. Mm
to call him tomorrow, Michael Jordan Day, 2-3-23. Ah, what are the odds? Uh, what's up, man? How you doing, bro? Everybody, everyone betted on Chief. Spidey Mod says Jalen needs to fake an injury so people can bet more on KC. I am going to Super Bowl party. You know, I mean, <laughs> have fun with that, bro. Did you notice the score last game? Philly, 7-31 with a little Uzi. Wow. Eagles have the numbers too, but KC wouldn't just make sense because of Mahomes and Reed. Spuddy, stop. It's all fake, homie. Get your feelings out of it. Ah, Devon. Yo. Matrix said if Chad Henney comes in. Okay, good stuff, bro. Plain decoder. Thank you, bro. I, I hope it is. If you're new, if you haven't subscribed yet, guys, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're almost to 5,000 subscribers. I appreciate it. Make sure you like the channel. If you want to call in, feel free. Numbers on the screen as well. And uh, let me know your guys' observations in the chat. Who do you guys think is winning the Super Bowl? What do you guys like about you like that prop bet from a home throw pick? What do we think? Does everybody like that? His 57 career interception on the 57 date numerology in Super Bowl 57. How we feeling? Hey, I mean to slay. I uh, I could. I haven't seen your channel yet, bro. Do you do, do you need your matcha? Let me know. Devon, because they're stupid, bro. They're sheep. Send them over to our channel. Tell them to watch their videos and join the Patreon. And they're no. Uh, Mahomes throws a pick to slay. Uh, as I mentioned in my notes, I do believe Mahomes throwing a pick. If you want to get a little extra spicy, extra juicy, do your slays plus six fifty to throw a pick. Five bucks on that or something. Three dollars on that or something. But yeah, I put the numbers out. It's going to be Darius Slay's 157th career game. Kobe Bryant equals 157. Dar Darius Demetrius Slay equals 81 and 126. Like Patrick LeVon Mahomes equals 126. So yeah. Here, let's look up Darius Slay. He's due for a pick. You want to know why? Also, I believe Mahomes is going to throw a pick here. And why connects with Slay? Hold on. Here, let me look up Darius Slay career stats. Let me see. Career stats include playoffs. Right there, look. 26 interceptions in 156 career games. So it's going to be his 157th career game. Connecticut, what's up? What up? Chris, uh, I just wanted to give some uh, information that I found out. Alright, go so, for it, bro. I was looking at something about uh, Andy Reid and John Madden of Washington State. Uh, uh, John Madden was talking about how Andy, during the Rams Chiefs uh, game this year, it was on Native American Day or whatever they call it, and during the broadcast, they said, Andy Reid is dating a turkey that John Maddy gave for a, a celebration or something. And, and I, it was going to be like, I was wondering if you found out anything out with uh, John Maddy that had anything to do with Chiefs. Oh, that's, I haven't even thought about that. That is a good idea. Um, because they have a history together, and I don't know. I just I just feel like there's no. I just feel like it's all Chiefs. I, I mean, I don't see how they. Have Andy Reid lose this game. It's an old team. Makes sense. Yeah, and he gets his 22nd win versus them as well as playoff win. 269 to 57. Exactly. And, uh, so I don't know. I tuned in a little late, but I saw that Mahomes, I don't know if you said this, Mahomes get, uh, get to 11 3. Yep, Eagles 1 1 3. Yep. Um,. What do you think about Patrick Mahomes throwing his 57th career interception in Super Bowl 57? Do we like yeah, that? I saw that. 
I agree, bro. Minus 108, too. I can see them going down early and coming back. Yep. For sure. He's known for that. <laughs> like, like, big, too. Like, something like if Brady just retired. They're pushing his own and stuff. That's a new go. Oh, yeah, did you? Them winning, but I can see them winning, like, come to big, them being down, like, 30-27, yeah, I mentioned that as a possible score outcome as well, so I can see that. One more thing I saw. I mostly watch videos, but I've been getting into a little decoding a little bit, but I watch you a lot. I watch uh, a couple other dudes, but... Oh, um, they're all saying about my home. Uh, they're saying the MVP curse and all that. He can become the first in 23 years to get MVP and a Super Bowl win in 2023. Nice. 23 years. Yep. If there's anybody to break these curses, it would be Mahomes. Though. He's the, in my that's, opinion, he's that's the next what, star. That's what I've been this whole time. Yep. He's the next star. <laughs> and they're pushing this black and black thing. And. In reality, Mahomes, like Mahomes, you could also say he's white, like nobody said that he's white. Right. So then there's uh, on all um, all black quarterbacks have won on a native team, and I saw something even the Seahawks had some uh, correlation with some native or some Indian tribe or something in Seattle. So Russell Wilson was there too. Well, let me uh, let me respond to this guy. He goes. Guys, just because Mahomes has a chance to throw a pick doesn't mean... A lot of people think about that. You can throw a pick and still win the game. How many times have you seen quarterbacks throw picks and win the game? You can throw a pick early on He can throw a pick early on in the game and still win the game. That's exactly what... Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. How are you people saying that? Like, oh, Mahomes throwing a pick, how can they win? Exactly. Like, he can still throw a pick and they win. Come on, people. Because <laughs> they want Super Bowl, dude. They want this. They want... It's all about... That's what they want to get. They're going to have it. I don't know. I just feel like it's just too synced up with the Chiefs. No, I'll say this simple is a lot closer than uh, usually. You know what I mean? Uh, you do have stuff going both ways, but I would say I more. I saw stuff on the Eagles, Eagles, too. I saw something about, um, I don't know. I forgot what it was. But I saw something about how they're going to have something going both ways. But there, there, there is a lot. Uh, I just feel like the Andy, like, it, this whole game is centered on Andy. Andy Reid. That'd be fun if he wins and he retires. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking because, uh, hold on, I'm reading something. Uh, oh, and Len Dawson, too. Len Dawson, yes. Yeah. I had, there was an Eagles player yesterday that got charged with uh, rape or something. It was from like three years ago. And same thing happened with Andy Reid and Sonny. Right before they got charged, they were actually 11 days before, just like how it is now, 11 days before. I I've been looking to that, I haven't heard about that. Bert Reed, he like crashed into a car and uh lady with a kid or something they're saying and then it's like a shaming ritual, I feel like. Like the other guy said. Oh, I also saw something. This is me, I found out. The creator of the Super Bowl ticket team was a Native American. Mmm. Nice, yeah. But it could go both ways. I was three hours put the two before, then I hopped off, but I heard your evil stuff. That could happen too. I just, like I said, I just feel like Angie Reed and like. It was, I think it was just. To have him lose against the gold team. Like, they did him dirty, they got rid of him, and then this is his chance to get him back and then retire. Redemption, yep, at age 64, Kansas City Chiefs equals 64. <laughs> I gotta realize this shit ain't real. Like, this is scripted. Yep, storyline, that's all it is. This, this, was, this was made from years and years ago. This was already set in stone. Yep, I agree. Satan runs this world. Yep. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I 
that's all I got. Just wanted to add on to what you were saying. Appreciate it. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem. You have a good one. Thanks for calling in. Anybody else wants to call in, feel free. All right, let me get back to my Darius Slay thing. Um, like I said, 157, check this out. So when's the last time Mahomes threw a pick? Let's look at Mahomes' game log, ready? Anybody else wants to call in, guys, go ahead. Here it is. The last time Mahomes threw a pick was December 16th, no, that's 2021, duh. Denver, the last time he threw a pick was versus Denver, January 1st. Look when Darius Slay was born. Darius Slay was born on January 1st. The last time Mahomes threw a pick was January 1st. And from January 1st until the Super Bowl, you will see it's 41 days or a span of 43. From January 1st, 42 days. See that? 42 days or a span of 43. One month, 12 days. So yeah, six weeks and one day like Philadelphia. So that's why also I believe why Mahomes is going to throw a pick. Mahomes is going to throw his first pick 43 days after his last one on the 43rd day of the year. So yeah. We get the likes up. We got the viewers up. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn your post notifications. Like the stream. Let's get this stream out there, baby. Let's get it out there. Let's keep spreading the channel. Check out the previous videos if you haven't seen them yet. You want daily sports predictions? Join the Patreon. We do decodes every single day. I'm taking time to give you guys my decodes. Show some love on the YouTube channel at least. And yeah. Ah, man. Why does this have to be here? But ultimately, I don't see how this doesn't I don't see how this doesn't play and how the Andy Reid thing doesn't play. I don't know. It's like, are they really setting us up or is it, is it really going to be that obvious? Mm, that's why it's in bold. That's why it's in bold. Big Ben, how you six money? How you doing, bro? I decode your mother shit to the user that I use it for outcomes. Alright, bro, I got you. No no stuff. I'll, I'll check it out later, bro. Plain decoded. Big Ben says Patrick Mahomes is Superman. Okay, okay. Oh yeah. Also, um, if you guys didn't see my my uh, video on Tom Brady retiring, what a what a scripted joke. Have you guys seen it? Yes or no? If not, we can go over it before we before we get another call. You got, have you guys seen it? Yes or no? If not, you want me to go over the the Brady retirement, how it connects to Mahomes? Let me know. Yes or no? Yes or no? Yes or no? You see Bubba Wallace won his second thing? Oh wow, Josh, why didn't see that, bro? Bubba Wallace won his second NASCAR race in KC. That, that's interesting. David Hernandez, how you doing, bro? Seeing some new people around here. I want sure you guys are subbed to the channel. It's Super Bowl season. All right, check this out, guys. Here, ready? Look at. I gotta put regular season because there's some people that commented on the video said you didn't specific, you didn't specify what you meant. Like, can we read Tom Brady regular season record as a starter? Tom Brady, look at this, Tom Brady played 300, and this is going to blow you guys' mind, Tom Brady played 333 career games, 3-3-3, he retired on 2-1, like 21, or as they write it, 1-2, like 12, the number 12, February 1st, 201, the Jesuit Order 201, Mr. Jesuit Order was Mr. Tom Brady, retires on 2-1, check, check out the 3-3-3, ready? He retired on February 1st. 
he retired, Tom Brady retires on the day leaving, 333 days left in the year, and he played a total of 333 regular season games as a starter. See that? And now, who I believe the NFL has picked as the next so-called Tom Brady, you could say, is Patrick LaVon Mahomes II. Because when you write out Patrick LaVon Mahomes II, you're going to get Jamatria of 3-3-3. Patrick LaVon Mahomes II equals 3-3-3. Like Tom Brady played 333 regular season games as a starter. And he retired on the day leaving 333 days left in a year. See that? You raid, bro? I didn't know. Heck no. I just went over why. Look. Tom Brady's done. He retired on the day leaving 333 days left in a year. He played 333 regular season games as a starter. Patrick LeVon Mahomes equals 333. They're telling you. It's Patrick Mahomes time now. Also, Look at Tom Brady's playoff record. He's done. He finishes 35 and 13 in the playoffs. This is gonna blow your mind. Look what Tom Brady equals. Tom Brady equals 35. Tom Brady has played his last ever game, winning 35 playoff games because Tom Brady equals 35. He retires with 13 playoff losses. The last team to beat him was Dallas equals 13. And then if you look at Cowboys versus Bucks score. Look, 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 let's look at it. 31 to 14. 45 combined points like 45-year-old Tom Brady retires. The Tom Brady in his final game loses 31 to 14. 45 combined points. Retires at age 45. Gets his 13th playoff loss. Dallas equals 13. And look at this. He finished with 35 completions in his final game. 35 completions to go with 35 playoff wins because Tom Brady equals 35. And now when you write out Thomas Brady, you get 30, 45, like he retires at age 45. Any other observations or call, comments you guys want to leave about the Super Bowl or anything you see that I should look into? Let me know, guys. They just arrested Joe Mixon. Any news stories that you think might connect with the Super Bowl, let me know as well. Rocky Mountains, I'm going to call you back, 252. me back bro Any other observations you guys want to leave down below, let me know. Make sure you guys subscribe to the YouTube channel. Let's get the like, let's get the 30 likes, guys. I'd appreciate it. This is our Super Bowl 57 observations. Expect more videos coming soon. Also, from this stream, you should at least be guaranteed to take one thing here that you should be able to play on that I mentioned. So, Like I said, this Super Bowl is close, but if I had to lean towards one, I would... Let me any read numbers, man.
Yeah, Dante, I heard that. I seen Simple's video. Yeah, I heard that. Travis Kelsey is 11 and 6 with the win. He will be 12 and 6. Kobe Bryant died 126. Good stuff, bro. Nice. What's up, Chris? How you doing, bro? Let's get the likes up. Three more likes, guys. Let's get to 30 likes. I'd appreciate it. If 252 wants to call back in, feel free to call back in. Anybody else wants to call in, we can take a couple more calls or we can end it there. Expect more videos and maybe another one last live stream before the Super Bowl. Check out my previous videos if you haven't yet where I are exposing the truth. We also posted when we believe what Brown will pass Kareem, so check that out as well. He's just grinding right now, man. Ballin' like I'm Patty Mahomes, ballin' like I'm Patty Mahomes, ballin' like I'm Patty Mahomes in the fourth quarter. Patty Mahomes, 57th grand reception in Super Bowl 57. Mm -mm -mm. Only way it doesn't happen is if he magically gets hurt. But we shouldn't, we don't want to preach that. Patrick Mahomes, yep, I mentioned that Tony Bell. Yes, sir, I mentioned that, bro. Eagles equals 113 as well. Eagles equals 113. 10 and 4 like Kobe, yeah. That's what I'm saying. There's stuff going both ways. Tom is pretty 126. Right. Seems like everybody has a 126 or 113 connection. Yep. Yeah, Mo. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. Breed is 3-0 against Philly since he came to the to the team. Chad Ware is number four, also number four in a four of the year. My man Matrix thinks Chad Henney's getting in the game somehow. I like it. <laughs> My man got Chad Henney coming in that game. Playoff game. Oh, this dude's been in the league since, since before I was born. Ted Henry. Ted Henry playoff stats. Oh, he's only played in two playoff games. Career. It would be his 81st game. <laughs> that is something. Look, if he, I don't know, I'm not saying he is, but if, if to your observation about Henny getting in, if he got in and threw a pick, he would have 61 touchdowns and 65 interceptions. Philadelphia equals 61 and 65. See that? And it would be his 81st career game. Insane. Two more likes, guys. Let's get the 30 likes. Come on. I appreciate it. Let's get some likes up, guys. Subscribe if you're new. If you want daily sports predictions, click the link in the description or the uh, chat below. If you want to Patreon, let's get it. Chiefs, Eagles, Super Bowl. Uh, this is my thoughts and everything. Let's get it. Use what I told you to your own knowledge and uh, 
Go ahead and attack how you want to attack and get it. But uh, you should know where I'm leaning based off of this live stream, so. Thank you guys, thank you. Shannon Sharp gave away the shirt by saying, yeah, before black quarterbacks. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, Mr. Uh, what's the name I gave out the script? Also, if you can get over 48, I would take that as well. If you only wanted to play like the over under, I would take that with the Mahomes pick. So maybe you get 49, 50, 57 combined points. Now AFC is on 27 Super Bowls. 103 is the 27th prime. NFC is on 29. But Super Bowl LBII was 28. So it's like, eh, to where are they going with that? Both quarterbacks are from Texas? Correct. What's up, Chris? How you doing, bro? Welcome. Both quarterbacks are from Texas. It's called PSYOP. All right, guys, we can go to leave it there. I appreciate everybody that tuned in today. Appreciate you guys showing love. It means a lot. See you guys next time. Stay tuned to the videos. Uh, I'm not sure what the next video will be, but I'll be putting out more Super Bowl videos. If I get any thoughts or if I see anything key that I forgot to mention in this stream, I will be sure to share it. I'll be on a video at least before the Super Bowl, maybe one more live stream. But see you guys later. Peace. We could look for Eagles and the 3P Champions Warriors. Yep, I seen that. That's what I mentioned in my, uh, on, on the stream in the Patreon. When the, the Astros, Warriors, and all that, when they they all won together in the same year. Which I'm saying, man. Uh, it's just like, wow, 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 wow. You see my comment being about 314 million. 314, nice. Yeah, man, it could happen. If, if there's any team capable of coming back, it would be KC, right? Um, like I said, Mahomes throws a pick, gets routed early, and then he can come back and throw them two, three touchdowns. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later. See what happens, guys. Peace. Have a good one.